Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video, we're just gonna do a little bit of a let's play. I'm gonna go through and do some daily tasks that I have just because I've not done some in a very, very long time. And I'm also gonna talk about South Bay just a little bit, things that I've got planned, things that are gonna be happening and that kind of thing. Just kind of like, a chill type video nothing too crazy just something to relax and play the game and just hang out for a little bit so i hope you're ready i hope you're excited and let's go ahead and get into it starting off every morning we have isabelle's announcements and you will notice that my island is set in august and that's because i like to build and design on my island whenever it's in the month of my choice because since this is a nautical and coastal theme island i really like to keep it in the summer months i know that it's september already but I just don't feel like I would enjoy trying to build on my island whenever it's starting to turn fall in the game. So I tend to keep it in August. And every morning I also like to check my mailbox and today there is nothing in there. So that's kind of sad. I really like it when I get mail in the game and I think it's super super fun whenever I get stuff from mom in the mail. Every day I love to go to Nook's Cranny and just see what is new in there and what is fun. So I'm gonna go in here and just see if there's anything that I might like, if there's anything that I wanna buy and just check out what's in the shop today. I definitely like that baby bear. Um, everything else I don't really care for, but I do think I'm gonna buy this baby bear. I feel like this would be a perfect gift for mint and that is something that I love to do. I love to give my villagers a gift every day. I try to keep up with that friendship. I'm also gonna go in the cabinet and buy some wrapping paper because I'm currently out of that, so I need to get some. I also don't like to look at the wallpaper or anything just because I'm not at the point of decorating my house, so I don't really feel like I need to be looking at that to buy. I think I'm gonna go over to my Able Sisters and I'm just gonna check out this part on my island because I think it's so cute. But I am gonna go over to my Able Sisters because I usually try to get in there every single day because Mabel has been giving me her, or not Mabel, Sable has been giving me her little custom designs for furniture of the fabric. So I try to go in here every day to get those and I also like to see if there's any cute clothes that I wanna get. So I'm gonna go look at that. Some of the items on the floor are kind of cute, but I always go into the cabinet or the closet, I should say, not the cabinet, just to see what's in here. Um, so far, I'm not really a fan of these things. I try to really look for clothes for my villagers because I really want them to have blue clothes. So I like to look at those and, oh, I really liked that maid dress that I saw. I'm gonna look at everything else really quick, but I think that I am gonna buy that maid dress because it looks totally up Mint's Alley, even though it's not blue, but it's close enough, it's teal, it kinda matches her. So I think I am gonna buy that because I feel like that's something that she would really like. So let's go ahead and buy this and I'm not gonna wear it out. I'm gonna just ship it to my storage and I'm gonna go over here and talk to Sable and get my little design. And I think after this, I might go to my resident services because it looks like I need to stock up some bells. And I've also not looked in the recycle bin lately, so there might be something cool in there. I'm going to check on my flowers really quickly. I've been hoping that these would kind of make some more blue on their own. If not, I'm probably gonna have to go to a treasure island or hit up Nookazon to get some more because I only use blue and white on this island. You guys know that if you've watched any of my videos. And yeah, so I'm gonna go in here and see what's in here. It doesn't look like I really want anything that's in the recycle bin, so I'm just gonna leave it. And I'm gonna go over here and grab some more bells because I do need those. 
Um, I will say that I do not have max bells on this island because I don't want to break the turnip challenge. I've been trying to stick with that and buy from Daisy May every Sunday and try and sell them. So I don't have a lot of bells. I have a little over a million, which I guess that is a lot, but compared to Max Bells, it's not. So I just try to, you know, play the game as it should be and try to hustle some bells some other way. I'm gonna go run to my house because I'm gonna put some stuff in my storage to get rid of it. And I'm also gonna grab a shirt that I bought for Walker and get that out. And then I'm gonna go deliver some clothes and gifts to my villagers. I only give gifts to Walker, Bam, and Mint right now because they're the only three on my island that I have that I will be keeping. All of my other villagers I will be getting rid of, but it's sad, but I do have a list of villagers that I want. And if I've never told you guys my list of villagers, I guess I'll do that now. The villagers that I'm looking for is Punchy, Igly, Daisy, Dottie, Pippi, Julian, and Tom. So that just kind of gives you an idea of who I want. I already have Walker, Bam, and Mint, but I just try to keep a list so that way I know who I want and it makes it a little easier on villager hunts. I'm gonna go to Walker's house and start with him first and give him his little gift that I got him. And hopefully while I'm doing this, maybe he'll be crafting something so I can get my daily DIY. We shall see. And it looks like he's not, but that's okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and give him this little gift and hopefully he likes it, maybe. Let's see what he has to say. Yes, Walker, you are getting a bowling shirt. Your other clothes are kind of crusty. Um, that's no good considering I've given you half of your wardrobe already, but that's okay. Oh, and it looks like he's giving me a fragrance diffuser. Hopefully this is nice. Maybe I can use it on my island. I'm gonna go and place it outside and see what color it is. Oh no, Walker, why would you give me pink? Uh, that's okay. I think I'm gonna go try and see if Bam is home and give him his gift. I'm also gonna check on my fish market and see if maybe Mint is down here because she wasn't in her house earlier when I walked by it, so maybe she's down here. And it looks like she's not, but that's okay. Also, if you have not seen my fish market build video, please go check that out. I will definitely have that linked for you somewhere in the cards on this video and maybe you'll like it. Oh, and it looks like CJ is here. I'm probably not gonna do any fishing on this video. I'm gonna try and keep it short and sweet because honestly, if I did every daily task, we would be here for quite a while. So I'm just gonna run over here to Bam's house and try and give him his gift. I do need to wrap it first though, so let's go ahead and wrap that up for him, make it look all nice and pretty, and let's go inside. Oh, and he's crafting, so that's great. So I can go ahead and get my DIY that a villager crafts today. Let's see what it is and see what he's got for me. A bamboo wall decoration. I don't believe I have this DIY, so that's good. I don't have very many DIYs on this island because I've really not been trying to get them as much. I've really just been focusing on decorating this island and that kind of thing. I've not really done anything for my museum, nothing DIY wise. So I'm really just focused on the island itself. And I'm gonna give him this gift while I'm talking away and let's see if he likes it and see if I get anything back from him. I figured that he would like the water cooler since he's a jock, so that's great. And I think he is gonna give me a gift, a camo tee. Um, definitely probably won't wear this, but that's all right. It is the thought that counts. I'm gonna learn this DIY and then I'm gonna go around on my beaches and pick up the seashells. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna look for my bottle DIY and hopefully somewhere along the way I'll find Mint because she's the last villager that I have to give a gift to. But while I'm doing this, I just wanted to talk about South Bay a little bit. I am currently working on my design plan and that kind of thing. I'm gonna have tons of more videos on this island. I'm gonna be doing a lot of speed builds and that kind of thing. And hopefully I'll have this 
island totally done in the next maybe three or four months so I guess that's good I hope because I figure that if it takes me that long that just means that you guys that watch my videos get a lot more content of this island and it's just so much easier to focus on one island rather than trying to do multiple islands all at once so I hope that you have been enjoying the South Bay content I realize that we have literally just started it, so we're not even halfway through, but I hope that you're excited to see how this island turns out. I am definitely 100% excited to see where this goes and see what I can come up with to make this island literally one of my dream islands. I love the theme that I've picked out, and I'm just so excited to build it and get it ready and get it done. So that just means more speed builds for you guys, definitely more villager hunts because I only have three out of my list so there's going to be a lot more villager hunts a lot of speed builds and I'm also going to try and throw in some fun videos in between just so that way it's not so redundant and hopefully keep it interesting and it looks like I found the bottle let's open it up and see what we get um it looks like cherry or sherry has made this bottle I don't know if I know which villager that is. A natural garden chair. I don't have this, so let's go ahead and learn it. And let's finish picking up these shells and just clean up the beach. I don't really clean up the weeds or anything on this island because I do time travel a lot. And I know some people don't like it, but for me, I kind of have to if I want to be able to get villager hunts quickly and if I want to be able to keep my island in the summer months. So I definitely have to do a lot of time traveling. So I'm sorry if the weeds are a little bit bothering in this video. Eventually, once I get my island done, I will keep up with them and keep them all clean and that kind of thing but for right now we're just gonna kind of leave it how it is and it looks like I found mint so let's go talk to her I'm pretty sure that she's gonna teach me a reaction so that's great I don't really have very many reactions at the moment I have the ones that I bought and I have a couple that villagers have taught me so I'm glad that I'm getting another one and that is great for me so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up her gift and give it to her and oh no 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 she's fishing i'm not gonna be able to give it to her oh my goodness mint Ugh. that is that is frustrating i hate whenever you're trying to give a villager a gift or something and they literally like sit down or they start fishing or doing something that is so frustrating oh my goodness well, while she's fishing, I'm going to go back over here and dig up the bells that I saw because I have not done that yet. I've like never done that. This is like my first time ever doing that. So I think I'm going to go do that. But before I do, I'm going to go and sell this stuff that I have just to get rid of it. I don't like to keep things in my inventory that I don't need, especially things that I won't be keeping. So I'm going to go in here and sell this to Tommy and Timmy and see what they give me. And hopefully I get a decent amount. Let's see, um, 5,000, almost six. That's decent, I guess, for some shells and a shirt. I'm gonna give that to them and we're gonna go out here and dig up those bells that were in the ground since I've never done that before. So I think I will get the achievement for that. I'm also not planting any money trees right now because I don't need them at this moment, but I will do them eventually because I know that I am going to want some money trees around my island, but for right now, I don't. I also try to keep my inventory organized. It really bothers me when it's not, but it is what it is, and I'm pretty sure that I did get that achievement. I'll have to look in just a second and see, but I'm pretty sure that I did. I see it in the corner. Let's go ahead and open that up and how far down here is it maybe it's at the bottom uh, oh there it is yeah so you get that for the first time you ever dig up bells because i've never done it before because i've literally never paid attention to it and let's go back here and try and give mint this gift again if i can't give it to her then it's just sad and nope she's still fishing 
I think I'm gonna just end this video now because it's been a while. This is about 14 minutes worth of running around and doing some little daily tasks. So I do think I am gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed just having a little chill video, a little hangout session, doing some daily tasks with me on my island and also talking a little bit more about South Bay and what's gonna be going on here. But I do hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm trying to keep the videos a little bit more different, add in some more fun things, just so it's not always speed builds and villager hunts. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing and liking this video. It would absolutely make my day. I literally love any support that I get on these videos. And without any further ado, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye friends.